Well, hi guys. Uh, I'm down here at Shoreham by Sea, um, right opposite the rope tackle. And I'm going to be going into the bridge in for a bar lunch. And here we go. Um, it's not a great day, but I still, hopefully, I can. Uh, I can have it outside. Yeah, so Shoreham is just a little market town. That's the bridge going to Worthing. And then obviously you see it Lansing, Shoreham Beach, London, Horsham. So yeah, <laughs> let's go in here anyway. Let's have a walk in here. So I'm out the chair now, guys. The splint's actually off today. Let's see how we got on. Hello, mate. Can I, can I get a bar lunch, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you want an inside table or outside? Would it be okay to go outside, yeah? Yeah, not problem at all. Uh, can I just get a fruit juice, yeah, because I'm driving? I've got a J2Y, that's alright. Yeah, that's alright, yeah. yeah. Apple, mango, orange, and passion fruit, apple, and orange. Uh, apple would be fine, thanks very much. Do you want a glass of ice or just a bottle? Uh, a glass of ice would be great. Uh, can I get, uh, can I just have cotton chips, would that be alright? Yeah, of course you can. Thanks, Are you mate. just going to be sat outside? Yeah, just sat out there, but yeah, just Stop. beside the river. Not a problem at all. Cotton chips, J2R, apple and mango, 21 pounds. That's great, mate. No allergies for me to be aware about on the food. No, no, no hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Never not at all. It's a very nice camera. This one, the GoPro? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I carry it everywhere, because I was in a wheelchair, I broke my... I broke my ankle, this is my first day Whoa. without the, the wheelchair ah. and without the cast. How does it feel? Terrible. Really? Yeah. But I'm back to work on Monday. Yeah, I'm going back, I have to go back. Uh, You're here. crazy, just on the top of it. I know, mate. But you know how it is, you know, when you just get statutory sick pay, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's only like a hundred quid a week or something a week. Do you want me to uh, take these down for you? you? Could you? Yeah, not a problem at all. Thanks very much. Thanks. There you go, my friend. I'll just sit there, or, or what's that in there? That is a eating section, all around the side is eaters, wow. all underneath, you get a sofa, you get a booth, you get a corn tail, or a square tail, you get whatever. Just you somewhere like. over, look at the river. Yeah, come yeah. follow me, I've got a place for you. Don't mind it being a little bit too cold? No, no, not at all, not at all, young lad, not at all. Can I have the place for you? Thanks very much. Bridge guys. Yeah, and it's just worked, you know, it just it, it kind of I mean, energy levels were up. Yeah. Enjoying the last few bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the last band of the festival were this um Oh that's great great, you've done me proud. Wow. That's a yeah, that's a front row seat, isn't it? It's beautiful. Oh I'll never do you wrong, sir. Oh man, thanks very much. No problem thank you, all. thank you. Wow, yeah guys, so I've got a front row seat here. So this is the bridge, the bridge in, and I'm gonna be sitting there and I'm having cod and chips. And uh, yeah, there's the River Raider, the tidal river of the tides out just now, of course. But uh, yeah, and then there's the, the boats, the boat people over the, the other side of the river. And then these boats have been here for years, guys, these two here. They've never ever seen the move, and I've stayed many years. So it could be maybe somebody's passed away or something. And uh, yeah, they've just been left and neglected, you know. But I don't know, I really don't know. Maybe the. Um, I don't know. But the Port 
authority. You know, you, you actually need, if you have a boat here, you've actually got to have a special like permit license to be able to come up and down on your boat. So I'm, I'm surprised they've not done anything about it. But uh, no, that's new flats there. Yeah, I'll show them. And uh, what have you got? I guess if you were in the summer, you could actually come up the Adar, pop your boat in there, and go in for a pint or something to eat. Yeah, and then that's the, as I say, the new flats. And that looks like uh, that doesn't look over there, guys. Like it's it's uh, plastic plants. That looks like a real uh, living wall garden, so to speak. And then the big canoe type uh, sailboat there. They kind of learn and things like that, don't they? Yeah, somebody in the flat there obviously has a canoe, so... Yeah. And that's interesting there, straight in front of you there. So you see all the boats, these are post-World War II, I believe. They were brought into house, people. Uh, they don't go for about five, six hundred thousand. But this one here, I guess if you keep the actual hull, then you can build whatever on top of it. And you can see it looks like a big queen house in front of us. Not worked as a, the, like the minesweeper, the J96. Yeah, so interesting, interesting. So, I wasn't going to come down, but I did it. I'm glad I did. I've just dropped my stick, guys. I've dropped my stick. Yeah, it's great to be free from the from the wheelchair guys and it's great to be free from uh, the actual cast so I haven't got my cast on today there we go the leg there you go um, the foot isn't swollen it isn't painful maybe a wee bit but it's more of an ache than a pain but that'll go but uh, yeah and I've just been back into work and I start again on Monday so it's all good so see you in a bit guys yeah, this on camera Oh, that is beautiful. Is there anything else I can do? Absolutely you? not. No, you've done me proud. <laughs> nice seat beside the river. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is, it is, it is. Thanks very, very You're much. Enjoy. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Wow, that's a real fish. Wow. Look at that, guys. That fish. That's my hand. So that's four fingers, eight, twelve, sixteen fingers long. And that is proper. But proper, isn't it? Wow. Wow, we need to have a bit of this, guys. Wow. Seriously fresh fish, guys. That is f fresh. That's not frozen. That's proper. Wow. What I got my. Uh, what else have we got with it? Got mushy peas. I should really put some of this lemon on it, guys. Yeah, some of the juice on it. I've got tartar sauce, and I've got like man-sized proper chips and a tartar sauce, and I've got a bit of green stuff there. So lettuce and cucumber and uh, yeah, let's try it. The chips are nice. Wow. But the fish guys are exceptional. I think somebody, I think the chef just went into that river there. Got the fish. Well I'm sitting here. And uh so fresh. Wow. And I got some of this apple and mango uh, J2O, the fruit drink, guys, just to wash it all down. There you go. And I know it's cold, but I go out with ice. So, yeah. Wow. Back in a bit, guys. Back in a bit. But the, the fish is beautiful. Wow. It's 
truly moist. It's not dry like the normal rubbish you get, like uh, that one at Ikea done the other day. Well, I mean, it ate the fish. I had to because the meatballs were terrible. But anyway, back in a bit. Well, guys, I know, I know it's like, look at this, it's huge, but I'm just going to scoff it down, guys. Seagulls waiting to scoff it too, mate. Look at that. Wow. That's the thing here, you have to watch when you are eating it because it's just so good. They don't care. But if you were to feed that thing, it's going to bring all its family, and its cousins, and its sisters, and its aunties and uncles. Yeah. It's a bit much. Bit a bit back. Bit a bit. Yeah. Sorry, guys. The GoPro's getting covered in tartar sauce. I know all the best eat our buck out. It's amazing. Skyhawks, guys. They obviously smell the fish and chips but unfortunately for them I've smashed it well guys I'm stuffed I really am I'm stuffed that was only 1750 boys guys 1750 the fish and chips I think the drink was too quick So basically, for 21 quid, you get the freshest and the biggest fish in Shoro, where they came up that river. <laughs> Take it easy. So I've only been in here about, what, 35, 40 minutes, and already you can see how fast that tide is. <coughs> they don't want to stop there. The ones I think must be abandoned are uh, about fully floated. This mud, this mud here though is highly sinkable. The Coast Guard come down here and uh, they do like, uh, they practice rescues with heavy. That's a black bark gull there guys, see that thing there? That's, that's one of the biggest of the gulls. And I think the other ones feel intimidated by that. So uh, that's why they're dying for what bomb in it. But, uh, and then there's a little, it looks like an eagle or something over there. Do you see it? It's in the water looking for small fish and crabs and the like but yeah that's good to see so I'm glad I came down but uh, yeah smash that guys but well, that was that was super yummy when I come back yeah so marks out of 10 for the bridge uh, here in Shoreham I would say 10 anyway I'm gonna go in now and uh, yeah we'll see what happens here yeah. yeah so there we go guys uh, we say that's the end of this vlog and obviously there's seating areas all over this place so that's where I came from obviously and you see the guys are through the back there and uh, yeah and there's a little outside bit in the summer too and I think they have music and what have you on and these there's these little uh, Baha'i Kubos for a better sense of a better word there and there's my trusty steed wow well, that's it so we done it we done it guys well that was the best fish and chips ever and there you go the bridge in Shoreham by sea if you want something decent seriously no joke I give the bridge in a thumbs up and a 10 out of 10 so I hope you enjoyed that vlog guys take it easy and uh, until the next one and I think that's tomorrow night uh, we'll see you again take it easy though bye bye thanks for watching